Today's broilers, they grow at supersonic speeds. They grow it very fast they, with, the, with the feeds. They add weight faster with less feeds, which is not uh, proportionate to the way they are vital organs the vital organs grow the heart the lungs skeletal system and that leads to water belly call it ascites that's today's video and our topic today being how to take how to tackle ascites in your broilers because uh, it's a it's a it's a case that you tend to have experience as a broiler farmer while doing you've been taken through the video by vet mwangi of lamo vet care poultry department don't forget to like comment or even subscribe and share to even potential farmers who find ascites or water berry as a nuisance to their poultry farm uh, from the introduction we talked of broilers tends to grow very fast and still on the uptake you should also the have quality uptake of intake of uh, oxygen so when you have insufficient oxygen levels in your poultry coop you'll tend to have number one a uh, result being you'll tend to to encounter ascites flipovers heart attacks respiratory issues so make sure you have you have a quality air by uh you can take checking taking care of the ammonia uh the dust from the curtains the curtains it should not be like dusty even for the food for the feed you should not have dusty feeds despite it being much it should not like be very very loose where they'll distract the oxygen levels and the dust will uh, affect the respiratory issues. The other, the other case we have is on carbon dioxide levels, the, which will definitely be led by your, your housing not being well ventilated, overcrowding, dampness in your, in your, in your, in your poultry coop, uh, not factoring in ventilation by curtaining your pads. Another case that you'll tend to have, another case uh, from my experience and and uh, I have encountered, you'll tend to find uh, farmers from high altitude areas tend to get ascites, water belly on their poultry coop far, um, at higher ratios, at higher rates than uh, people, uh, uh, farmers not on the uh, high on the low uh, farmers at low altitude areas so uh, by that you would there are things there are, uh, are ways that you can take note of that and minimize ascites you can uh, for farmers who are get, tend to get to get uh, ascites you can uh, at at the third week the, 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 as from the third week and giving pellets you can work on having a, a way where you tend to minimize the uptake of rich, of, a, of a pellets to mash that's called restrictive feeding and that's that's our topic our next topic where we'll be formulating for you uh, ways of how of having restrictive feeding uh, uh, having the the ventilation right in your poultry coop, oxygen levels, ammonia levels at the lowest, and then uh, you can also introduce the product Hy Hygiene Pro Recipe Fresh. Introduce this product to your poultry coop as from the second week, latest the third week, whereby uh, you tend to uh, have uh, it's an organic product so do, you should not worry about the withdrawal period and uh, when you introduce this your your buds will minimize uh, cases of respiratory issues crd uh, the uh, ascites introduce this 
to your poultry coop. The other case that you would introduce is fog your fog your farm, fog your broiler or uh, fog your or your broiler farm. The uh, using uh, the recommended uh, disinfectants and uh, uh, which are used to fog, and your birds will breathe them in. So make sure you have hygiene pro recipe fresh in your farm as from the second to the third week and give a uh, uh, administer it to your bird so uh, you will minimize the effects the effects of uh, the effects of ascites in your farm and you'll get you smile all the way to the bank as by then you'll have maximized on you have will have minimized on your production losses and production cost You've been taken through the video by Vet Mwangi of Lama Vet Care Poultry Department. Don't forget to like, share, and even comment. Share to your other farmers who tend to have experienced the losses brought about by poor, poor, poor ventilation, respiratory issues, CRD, and ascites or water baby. See you in our next video.